Hello Taurus, welcome back to my channel. This is Skeleton Key Tarot and this is a tarot card reading for Taurus. All Taurus placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Wherever you've got Taurus in your chart or in your life, there's something in this message for you. And as always, cross watchers are welcome here too. So let's begin. Messages for Taurus, please. What does Taurus need to know? All right, Taurus, when I first sat down to do your reading, I felt a sense of urgency and anticipation. But then as I began recording the video, I started to feel more confident, more relaxed, like I was in the driver's seat. That may be relatable. Yeah, it's like finding the courage, the patience, the perseverance, the skill, the talent, whatever energy, motivation, or vision that you need to overcome some kind of challenge and, and really get it up over, over the hill, you know, over and through it, really. It's like the last push, the last month of pregnancy, or it's just right before the finish line, the last mile of the marathon. And you're almost there. You're so close. You're creating something here that's really valuable. It's valuable to yourself and others. It's something that you do really well and it's going to be successful. You've got to finish this project. It's almost there. It's almost to completion. You're so close. And I feel like within the next... I would say nine days, four days, nine days, or even, mm, yeah, this week. It sets the tone for the next couple of years, I think. Six months. I don't know, it's happening soon. You're hitting this finish line. You're reaching a milestone. You're getting there. You're making it happen. Your vision comes to life. It's successful. Queen of Wands is here. You may have fire sign in your chart. Maybe Venus in Aries or the moon in Sagittarius. You may be a fire sign with moon in Taurus. like a, Or you may even be a Gemini or a Virgo involved somewhere as well. What is this Queen of Wands doing? I feel like this is you. Okay. A little bit more it looks like someone's attracted to you it looks like somebody wants to give you something they want to talk to you they want to flirt with you they want to invest in you long term they want a long-term committed relationship with you they want a house you're getting a house together you're renovating redecorating someone's very very attracted to you and they want to talk to you about this they want to speak the truth. There needs to be an open, honest, direct conversation where everybody speaks the truth or at least your own truth. You have to you have to like stand up for what you believe in, but it's not like that. It's more like making a statement of the truth. Like how do you feel? Telling the truth about yourself. What are you up to? What do you want to do? What do you want? How do you feel? What's your vision for the future? What do you want to change? Cuz something's changing here. Again, with this number nine and this death card. Plus some of the other things that have come out already. This is the end of a chapter in your life that may have lasted from like six to ten years. It's the end of a ten year cycle. Six years, ten years, something like that. And it's happening this week, this four to nine days from now. This will have been completed. You get the results, you get the fruits of your labor are now in your hands by like next week. And you're not afraid anymore or you're not feeling so scared. See, this was that urgency Remember when we first started the reading today, I was like, I felt a sense of urgency and anticipation. And it wasn't like being so much afraid as like nervous and anxious because you're waiting for something and you know it's going to happen. It's imminent. 
it's inevitable. Yes, this is like inevitably going to have to change. It will come to completion. You will end this. There's something here about being kind of paranoid or anxious or upset, blaming yourself. This is um this is the way that you think is changing as well. This is it's over. You may even be afraid of something. There may be some fear about this. Maybe it's a big change in your life. It's momentous and it could feel a little intimidating or you could feel like it's kind of a big deal. But it feels really good with the Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles here, the Magician, Page of Cups, Queen of Wands, like Eight of Wands. This is really, really good. This is a positive leap in the right direction. Is the Fool card here? No, but the Seven of Pentacles is. This is what you've been waiting for. You have been waiting for this, this page of pentacles. Here's this message about money and it's going to help you to move forward and you're going to feel better, which makes sense because if you need this money and you've been waiting for it and you've been waiting a long time for some kind of bureaucracy or processing, seven of pentacles sometimes talks to me about that. It's like you've been waiting for something like a check in the mail or something to be deposited and maybe it's been it may have been delayed or it just naturally takes a while again yeah you're waiting for this and it's not been easy because you felt like you didn't quite have enough or you were dissatisfied unhappy and sort of brooding about it like you've been waiting it's been a headache it's been annoying it's been stressful Maybe even kind of scary if you really need this money and it's urgent. But I see someone giving you or gifting you and it may be the universe or it's just like this is somebody who you can build with. I see the Page of Cups offering this Ten of Pentacles to this Queen of Wands and she's been sitting here a little despondent and not not feeling good irritated maybe not the nicest when she's feeling this way but like i see that the work that she's doing is beneficial to herself and others and this is a generous friendly person who is considerate and generous and magnanimous so while I do feel that she's been sort of irritated and maybe this could have caused the queen of wands you know knowing her disposition I would say she would get a little perhaps a little combative or short with people maybe a little rude with people because she's annoyed and she expresses herself openly <laughs> you know which I get the sense that this may have even caused some friction with an air sign or this king of wands type character who, king and queen of swords. Did I say queen of, king of wands? I meant king of swords and queen of swords are now here. And you know, I felt her kind of, but this is, this feels like it's reiterating it to me. All right, this friction and conflict and there's been a problem in a relationship that needs to be solved and I see you working through it actually but there is a blow up or a conflict there's a confrontation there are words exchanged and temperaments get involved it's important to remember to have patience and generosity and kindness and temperance is here there could be a Sagittarius you could have Sagittarius in your chart or you're dealing with a Sagittarius and you're you're both fire sign or you have this in your chart you know and it's fire and you are arguing with yourself or you, you're arguing between the two of you there may be an air sign involved and you just don't want to deal with it you really don't you want to work on something in the future you're trying to work through a situation trying to solve a problem trying to create you're trying to create a lifestyle in the future you're very future focused in this reading today and you've been waiting for something and this is going to, what, initiate a new chapter towards your future of your life. It's like getting this job or getting this money. 
right? You hear back about this job, this money, you're in, it's successful, it's good, you get promoted, this is what you've been waiting for. Maybe you put out, oh, there's the King of Wands right there. I knew I felt him in here somewhere. So, like I was saying, you've been waiting to hear back from somebody. You've been waiting to see this person. This person is coming towards you. This person's coming towards you. And there's a conflict here. You have a conflict with someone. Someone's confrontational. I feel like someone's going <coughs> to... Excuse me. My throat is starting to feel scratchy. Suddenly, my throat hurts and scratchy. And I feel like I need to cough. When I saw that Five of Swords. So, I think there's some strong advice here to watch your words. I don't think you want to get into a fight with this person. I really don't. I think that this is something you don't... You don't want this five of swords right now, but somebody may be coming towards you with a confrontational energy and you may need to find peace and make peace with this person, come to some kind of agreement. You need to be fair and balanced. You need to maintain your centeredness in order to deal with this person, whoever this is. You have to stay centered, stay calm. Do not let this person trigger you or make you mad. Don't interact with them on that level if you need to. If you have a chance, like if they're texting you and their text messages are starting to piss you off, put the phone down for a little while before you respond. Don't respond out of anger. This is how you continue to maintain your vision on the future and move towards the best future for yourself with the star being here. The Wheel of Fortune, the Justice, the star. I just feel like maintaining a sense of balance and centeredness, being fair, and also not letting somebody throw you off your center. Don't let them throw you off your square. You know what I mean? Don't let them throw you off. Okay? Stay focused on your future. Stay clear about imagining the type of direction and future that you want to go towards. And stay on that path. Because this person is coming in and they have a conflict here. But they really want to talk to you. They want to talk to you, have a conversation. They want a heart to heart, really. This person is trying to talk to you, to initiate some kind of intimacy. To be honest, that's where they're really coming from. They're trying to get to know you. They're testing you. They are... Okay, this is the King of Wands. He's kind of assertive. I feel like this person's kind of aggressive or assertive when they approach you. But really, yeah, okay, it's like they're trying to get to know you. <laughs> so, but they are really strong personality. All right. They're, what is it? It's like this person is kind of relentless. I get the sense that this person is relentless and stubborn and very strong-willed and wants to talk to you, wants to talk about you, is watching you online or whatever, your social media maybe, is spying on you or just analyzing you, assessing you, testing you. Maybe some kind of shit test, like Seriously, it it feels a little bit um it feels a little bit manipulative. It feels a little bit like they're trying to it's a weird way to try to get to know somebody, like to trigger you to see what happens when you get upset because they want to know who you are, they want to know who they're dealing with. It's almost like a little kid, you know, like a child will test you as a, as the adult to find out what they can get away with because this is how they learn about rules and culture and society is like you train them not to do things you train your toddler not to like climb on the tv right if your toddler tried to climb on the tv you'd be like no don't do that and sometimes these little kids will like look at you before or while they're doing something that they know they're not supposed to do or they know that this is going to get a reaction out of you and they're looking at you to see are you going to stop me are you going to say something what are you going to say how are you going to say it and this is actually useful to little kids because this is how they learn and it can be annoying but you need to keep that in mind as the responsible adult you have to keep it in mind that it's almost like biological programming 
um, this is how they learn, right? This is how their little stupid little brains work is they need to put things in their mouth and we need to tell them not to. And then they learn eventually not to. It's weird, but it's like, this is a grown person. This is not a child, but they are sort of doing almost the same thing. Like they want to come in and be a little confrontational of you and test you and push you. They want to push you a little bit to see how you will respond to see what you'll do, how you'll react. So you're getting, yeah, you're getting messages. You're getting invitations. There it is. This is the person, the Knight of Swords, Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, the Temperance. It's like, this is a child doing this. Literally a child could be testing you to see what you're going to do, how you're going to react. It could be a younger person or an immature person or look at this. This is exactly what we were talking about. It also got really dark in here and it's starting to rain and it's a thunderstorm right now. So that's cool. I love the dark energy of the thunderstorm. But okay, it's like you're being given a heads up about this person that's gonna come in in a kind of argumentative way. They are going to test you. They wanna see how you'll react. They wanna get to know you. They wanna see who you are get to know the real you like they feel like the angry version of you is the real you and the peaceful version of you is not real that I feel like is a little superficial of them to be honest that's not true um I'm pretty sure we're the same person when we're upset versus when we are having a good time or when we're relaxed it's just different versions right different moods different aspects of the personality is not the whole personality so I feel like I personally would sort of disagree. Like it, they want it, but this is what they're coming from. This is where they are coming from. They want to see the real you for whatever reason. They want to see how you respond to pressure under stress. They want to see how you respond to irritating situations. And I feel like you are responding in a very balanced, moderate sort of way, like temperance here, the tower, the five of wands. Yeah, like you're handling this. Yeah, yeah, we were seeing this before, remember? The swords, you're handling this problem. You may be turning your back on it to figure it out for yourself. Yeah, you may be working on something here, working on the vision of the future that you really want, solving this problem yourself by focusing on your work and your money and building up your resources, your skills, putting them into practice. There's something here that you are creating and it may be your artwork or your, your, your anything. It's whatever it is that you do, whatever it is that you make or your skills, whatever it is that you're working on, your, your job, yeah, but I do see that it's the future that you desire is what you're looking at is trying to get what you want, trying to work this out, work on manifesting this successful new beginning or new chapter promotion in your life. So is this a test? Is this the thing that's going to show whether or not you can rise up? Is this what you have to do? Is this part of your journey? Is this confrontation? Is this conversation? This offer? There's, so there's an offer coming in. And there's also an argument or a confrontation. And it feels like a test or somebody getting to know you or some, something like that. They want to speak the truth to you. They want to tell you the truth. And they expect you to be honest with them. They are very serious about this. This is not a joke. This is not a game to this person. They may be a little bit like testing you and it feels kind of, it, it almost it almost feels like a little toddlerish, you know? It feels a little bit like, but it, but it's not. It's actually really serious. It's, it's a real conversation and they are coming on very strong. This person is kind of aggressive or kind of assertive, just very, it's, it's different because they, they are presenting it or trying to present it as something that is gentle and kind and loving. They're, it's coming from a place of love with this Page of Cups. It's something new. It, it is like 
the Ten of Pentacles that they are offering, but they're doing it in a very shy way. This is a very dynamic reading today. I almost feel like I'm contradicting myself. You know what I mean? Contradicting myself. But it could be two different people or... Yeah, and it could be one of them is acting in a very sweet, loving, kind, giving, generous, gentle sort of way. And the other one is coming in very assertive, um, argumentative, testing you, pushing your buttons to see how you'll respond. And they want to have a, a serious conversation about the truth. They want to get it clear. They want to set it in stone. Once and for all, they want to, they want to like clear the air clear up a misunderstanding, get things straight, level with you, set the record straight. That's what they want to do. It's like they want to set it straight. They want to get you, set you straight. It could be like they want to set you straight. Like they feel like you're wrong about something and they're going to point it out. It could be criticism. But it ultimately, it feels like, what is it? Yeah, it's like uh, a decision that you need to uh, spend some time alone to think about it this conversation, you are going to think about it afterwards. I don't know. Do you have a choice to make? You may have a decision to make and you may choose to walk away from the fight or walk away from the problem to spend some time alone, to work on it yourself, to figure it out for yourself, how you really think, what you really feel, what you really want, ignoring everybody, ignoring all outside influences in order to come to your own conclusions for your own peace of mind. So I think the best thing you can do is hear this person out, l listen to them, listen to their truth, and then you speak your truth, okay? This is a, this is not a joke. This is not a game. This is a serious conversation. I feel that way. This is what I have to report today as your tarot card reader on youtube.com that this person is coming in and you, <laughs> I feel like saying you had better be honest with me. That's what they're saying, be honest. What do you really think of this? What are you really doing? What do you really want? What do you have to say for yourself? Or what do you, and it, it's coming off really aggressive. So I don't know if they're upset with you or they're just like, they really are adamant. It's urgent, it's adamant. It's like, they, they wanna know. And they're gonna know if you're lying. And they're gonna, they're gonna think less of you. They're gonna judge you for it if you don't speak up, if you don't have the courage to speak up, if you don't have the idea in mind, if you don't have the clarity, if you're not ready for it, if you're not prepared, if you don't handle it very well, if you take it the wrong way, they're gonna judge you, they're gonna know something, they're gonna decide something for themselves too. So it's like, there's a big conversation here and it feels a little confrontational, but I do feel like you take away a lot of information. You learn something important. You both do. You set the record straight and then you walk away. Maybe you both walk away from this and spend time alone in introspection, thinking about the conversation, thinking about what you want to say in response. Cause I don't think it's over. I think it's just the beginning. It's just the beginning. So it's, it's not the last conversation you're ever going to have with this person by far. It's just a very important milestone conversation that may take this relationship to a next level or it may end up being like the foundation of a relationship in the future, like setting the foundation so that you can build on top of it like a house, like the relationship is a house. So... You are in alignment with your future here. What does that future look like to you? Can you maintain balance and vision in the face of challenges? This person's going to challenge you. Are you up to it? That's what they want to know. They want to know if you're up to the challenge or if you're up for the job. It could be a job. Someone offering you something in a very polite, nice way. That's a job. It's like a bunch. It's the Ten of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. So it could definitely be a career path that opens up for you and sets the stage for the next ten years. Or it's a it's a love relationship. It could be. It might be because we do have the Queen and King of Wands. We had the Queen and King of Swords. So it's a true pair. Whatever it is, you're very compatible. So especially when it comes to your ideas and your vision for the future and you're very, both very passionate people. This could just be somebody who's so passionate and their feelings are so strong, they come off as being assertive or aggressive. They give that impression, they may be a little intimidating and you may, you may also be that way too though. 
very serious, goal-oriented, maybe a little intimidating, very attractive, passionate, magnetic attraction here, for sure, between this. But it, it feels like that's not really the topic of this meeting. The topic of this meeting is not whether or not you are attracted to each other. Obviously, you are attracted to each other. You have great chemistry. The question is, are you serious? What are you serious about? What is your vision for the future? What's your 10-year plan? I feel like I got this for you before. What's your 10-year plan, Taurus? That's what I've got for you today. I hope this was helpful. I hope it was of service to you. If you enjoyed this and you'd like a personal reading, my email's in the description box below. If uh, You can email me. I'll let you know how it works. You let me know what you need. But in any case, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me today. And I'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye.